Hey guys, so I'm supposed to have a loot crate coming um, any second now. I mean, I have the tracking number and everything and it says that it is out for delivery right now. But it's not in my mailbox. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to get to open a loot crate today, but instead I'm going to talk about... What was that? Instead. <laughs> I am such a dork. Why do you guys watch me? Anyway, instead I will talk about... <sighs> roller coasters. <laughs> okay, so I know I've mentioned that I'm going to do a vlog or two, or I don't know how many, on um, Disney World, my trip to Disney World and Universal Orlando, and I actually have my camera right here. So this has my pictures and all that stuff. I don't think I took I don't think I took any video. I may have accidentally taken video because a lot of times I'll have it set on video instead of camera and or whatever you would call it. I don't know, still pictures. Uh, so sometimes I'll have it put on that instead. <laughs> so sometimes I'll have it on camera instead and I don't realize it and I start taking a picture and I take video instead. It's like that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. So um, I have that right there. Um, I haven't uploaded anything into my computer yet, so I don't have that ready, but I need to look through those and uh, <laughs> go through my notes, which sounds kind of funny that I have notes about a trip, but um, when you make videos about stuff, you make notes about stuff too, or at least that's what I do. I don't know how other, like, real YouTubers do it, but there we go. Why am I doing my arms out like chicken wings? Stop it. God. Okay, this is going to be a completely weird video. I am don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, roller coasters. Let's talk about those. <gasps> okay, so, um, actually, I have notes on this. Let me find them. <laughs> oh, why? <sighs> oh, my God, I'm such a freaking dork. Why do you watch me? Why? So the very first roller coaster, and this isn't just about roller coasters, that's about rides in general, but uh, we'll call it roller coasters. So the first roller coaster I ever rode was, as far as I remember, was um, at Six Flags Over Georgia, which is in Atlanta or right outside of the city, um, which is not really that far from where I live. It's about a three hour drive or something like that. I'm not really sure. So we used to go to Six Flags a lot when I was little. Um, I, well, I say a lot, but it wasn't really that much, but about every other summer we would go to Six Flags. And um, that was really the first theme park that I had ever been to. And the first time I went to it, uh, the very first ride we went to was the Georgia Cyclone. I was about eight, probably. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look it up because it was the very first summer that they had the Georgia Cyclone. It had just opened up and we went and I was with my mom and um, I think two of my aunts and maybe somebody else, uh, maybe my aunt's girlfriend. I don't really know. Anyway, we were all there together and the first ride we got on was the Georgia Cyclone and I had never been on a roller coaster before, as far as I can remember. This is the first roller coaster I remember being on. And I was kind of scared because, you know, I'd never been on one before. But I was with my mom, so I was like, well, you know, surely this is fine. My mom is going to be with me. I'll make it through okay. So we get on the ride. I'm, like, barely tall enough to ride it, probably. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm sitting right beside my mom, and we go up the first hill. And I'm like, oh, well, this isn't so bad, you know. We're just going up a hill. And then we went down it, and I freaked out. And I didn't like it immediately. And we went up to the top of the next hill, which is like the biggest hill in the whole roller coaster. And it had something at the very top of it, like a sign, and it said, um, I don't even know what it said. As we get to the very top of the hill, basically, I look over at my mom and say, I don't think I'm gonna like this. And then we go down and it's like all crazy crazy. And I did not like it. I didn't breathe the whole time we were on there. And um, you know how they take pictures of you on these rides? And then you get to look at the pictures when you're done and go, oh my gosh, look, I was having so much fun during that. You could obviously tell that I was not having fun because I was just doing this. 
And my mom was slapping me, trying to get me to breathe. So that was my first roller coaster experience. And needless to say, I didn't want to ride any more roller coasters after that. I was like, you know what? I'm content to just ride the train around the park. And, you know, hey, I can maybe do some of the baby rides because they're for babies. And I'm a freaking baby. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to ride any more of the roller coasters. Not even, like, the really small ones. I, I was kind of terrified of the baby roller coaster. <laughs> I say baby roller coaster, but it was, like, the small one. And it had, like, one kind of drop and that was basically it but i was terrified of that and um probably wrote it anyway because my mom probably made me but <laughs> anyway it was it was not a good first experience i will say that um i think i was a little too young to be <laughs> on a roller coaster uh considering that i was a scaredy cat in the first place and also you know how when you're little you're a little kid kind of skinny. I was like all skin and bones basically. And you get on a roller coaster and the first time you go down a hill, your body just rises up in the seat. I was completely terrified that I was just going to rise right up out of the seat and fly off into the air because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was on a roller coaster for the first time. I mean, what are you supposed to expect? You've never been on one before. You see people on them and you're like, hey, they look like they're having a good time. And then you get there and you don't. So yeah, I didn't have a good time, <laughs> needless to say. Anyway, so I was really afraid of roller coasters after that. Um, it took a lot of effort for anyone to get me on a roller coaster. But um, I really liked rides like at fairs. So like Ferris wheel, love the Ferris wheel. Other people that are with me hate it because they're all afraid of heights and everything. And I'm not really. So, um, but I really like the Ferris wheel. I like rides like that. And then, um, slowly, I kind of adjusted to roller coasters. I would try some of the smaller ones first until I got used to them and then started to like those. And then, finally, around eighth grade, when I was like 13, and, um, we went back to Six Flags and it was as like a, um, a class trip kind of thing, but it was over the summer, so it wasn't really a class trip. But, um, maybe it wasn't over the summer. I can't remember. But, uh, a big group of us went, a group of my friends from school. And, um, of course, I couldn't let them show me up and not, you know, I couldn't just stay behind and not get on the roller coasters. So I had to get on them. And it turns out that I actually liked roller coasters when I got a little bit older. So that was good. And then, um... After that, I was fine. Until my <laughs> senior year of high school, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it was my senior year of high school. I decided to go with my mom and my best friend and my best friend's mom to the fairgrounds, the local fairgrounds. They held it every year around my birthday, which is in September. And we decided to go my senior year. And I remember I ate a lot of meatloaf before I went. And I was doing fine um, until I got onto the barrel ride. The barrel ride is kind of like the teacup ride at, you know, um, Disney and stuff like that. The teacup ride, basically. So you get in there and you spin around. And uh, my best friend and I got on the ride and we were completely fine with not spinning too fast. But then they decided that there weren't enough people in our barrel. So they put two little kids in there with us. And the little kids wanted to spin around really fast. And they did. And I did not enjoy myself at all. I got off the ride and I was very dizzy and I didn't like it. And I couldn't go on another ride for about two hours, probably. I tried to get on the Ferris wheel, and the Ferris wheel almost made me sick. And, um, yeah, basically just sitting anywhere almost made me sick. And I finally thought that I was over it. It had been a couple of hours since I'd, or an hour or so, it, since I had been on a ride. And I was like, man, I really want to ride that one ride that I rode last year. It was really fun. It's called the G-Force or something like that. Anyway, 
And it's one of those rides that's, you know, spins around and everything, but it doesn't spin like the barrel rides. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Um, so I got on the ride with Katie, my best friend, and I thought I was doing fine until the ride came to an end and I realized that I was not doing fine. And um, I basically pushed people out of my way in my journey to the exit and barely got off of the platform before I started vomiting everywhere and all over my shoes, all over the ground. And I looked up and walking by were the popular kids from school. The high school quarterback of the football team and his girlfriend, the cheerleader, and some of their friends. Not the impression I wanted to give off as, you know, the pukey girl, but yeah. I started feeling better, but there was no way I was getting on any other rides. And basically spinny rides kind of ruined my fair experience. And I don't like getting on spinny rides anymore. And of course, after that, I couldn't eat meatloaf again for a long time. Yeah. Later that year, I went back to Six Flags and they had this new uh, ride called Agrophobia. And basically, it just takes you up really high and you sit there at the very top and you're wondering, are they ever going to drop me? And then they kind of face you toward the ground a little bit. Not too much. But yeah, they're, you're kind of facing toward the ground a little bit. And then all of a sudden, there's no countdown or anything. They just drop you. And scared the crap out of me. And I didn't want to ride any more rides after that. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did ride more. But I did not ride the George Cycle one again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever ridden it again because it scared me so much the first time. <sighs> but yeah, um, so I'm not a big fan of roller coasters, or at least I wasn't. So when I went to Orlando for, you know, my trip to Disney World and to Universal Orlando, I was kind of wary about it because I wasn't sure if I was going to want to ride a lot of the roller coasters and stuff. But you know, turns out, I really like roller coasters. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Hurt my neck a little bit, but um, yeah, I I have a roller coaster relationship with roller coasters. It kind of goes up and down. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Right now it's on the up. I really like roller coasters. Anyway, so um, I guess I just wanted to talk about um, puking. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh God, I'm disgusting. Oh my god, I'm so freaking crazy.